Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the God. We are the Breakfast Club. Yes. We got our West Coast uh, homie in the house. Absolutely. I said in the yeah. house. Our West Coast homie in the building. Yeah. One, one third of the strong arm steady gang. Yes. My man Cron Don. Indeed. What up, y'all? What's everybody going on? You know, good? last time he came, it was two. This time it's one. What, what's going on <laughs> here? Yeah, nah. Um, my group is still together. It's nothing like that. I'm okay, just, all right. I'm just pursuing the solo efforts of my career. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, we've been together a long time. Anybody know Strong Arm State? Mm-hmm. No, we've been together a very long time. Um, and it's just time. I think it was just time for me to branch out, man, and just, as an artist, do some of the things that I've been wanting to do. So here I am, man. So you have I your solo free. album. Yeah. And um, you, you are putting it out for free, though? Well, no. I, I, what I did, Angela, is uh, in February of this year, I put it out for free initially. Um, kind of because it's a reinvention and reformation for my sound. Mm-hmm. For those that know Strong Arm Steady and know, you know, what the, the one third that I play in the group, um, it's a real reinvention and reformation for me. So I gave it away for free to the core fans mm-hmm. um, that's been rocking with me from day one. And then um, over like a real overwhelming response, you know, from my peers and, and fan base. Um, felt like I should have sold the thing, you know. So, you know, I, I decided to do that. I got with some cats, some good friends of mine. Um, and we put together a deluxe version, uh. digitally remastered it, um, and now we're gonna put it on iTunes November 19th. And and you can buy a direct hard copy from me. Mm-hmm. Um, I, and I wanted to do that just because of the climate of the West Coast and what's going on right now. Right. Um, and, and we've been doing a lot of DIY things for a while now, but I just think that now it's coming to a head of people really recognizing that what's going on in the West is a, it's been an independent grind and hustle. And Shaw, you know that it's been coming. So now it's just I think the world's getting a bar of that, you know. So I wanted to make sure that I played my part in that. So what's the difference between this everything nothing LP and the first one? Um, well, it's got four extra songs on it. Okay. One, well, the first album didn't have no features on it because mm-hmm. I just wanted the people to really hear my voice right. and, and the new way that I was coming. Really, like I say again, it's a reinvention. So I want I wanted I didn't want any other voices to distract that. Um, and and so I got features on there, four extra songs. Um, the the hard copy comes with a T-shirt and 36 by 36 poster mm-hmm. signed by me, and um, it, it's just a, a, a better quality like sound. Quality. Not that I didn't know them on the free version, but you know hindsight is 2020. So right. <laughs> I went after like you know playing it in every car, every bins, and you know what I'm saying, right. Range Rover that I could to get all of the different sound qualities out of it that I wanted. I went and digitally remastered it to my liking. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was, in the beginning it was, so I don't think it wasn't, but after just some hindsight, wow, got it right. How inspirational was what Nipsey Hussle did with selling his mixtape? Did you pay attention um, to that? I and- did, I did. Um, I paid attention to a lot of business models. Um, and and definitely what Nip did, my you know hats off to Nip, you know beanies off to Nip for that because it was a really really gutsy move um, that he made and and I, it did inspire me one to um, um, take the chance of because I wasn't going to do physical copies honestly. Mm-hmm. Um, that me and, and and my friends uh, at RBC had decided to just do digital only because it was out for free already um and the downloads were so high and all of that i was figuring like well cats digitally they're gonna whoever supported it they're gonna go and support it right there from a digital mm-hmm. perspective um and then with the whole um not just nip but a lot of records that came out um this year that were independently successful um i, I decided you know what let me go on and, and give the fan and a hard copy of it and let me give it to them directly and connect with the fan right. um again like i say nip and uh, like the nine inch nails trent reznor that brother you know his business models over the last 10 or so some odd years since he left interscope i've been studying really really closely man honestly and and it it opened me up just to not just one way of skinning the cat you know and 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 opening ourselves up as not just creative artists because we are creative artists initially, but creative businessmen, and 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 doing things that that you know, garner unique attention mm-hmm. by by delivering it in a unique way. Is it safe to say that the uh, the West Coast is back with you know Kendrick Lamar, uh, the TDE uh, movement? And I can't curse on here, right? Yeah. No, there's no, there's no cursing I'm, I'm, I'm on here. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's safe to say that, man. I mean, um, it, I mean, look at what's going on musically in the West Coast and, and how, um, and I, th- and my, you know, thank y'all, man. Uh, y'all a big part of it, too, having a cat like me up here, you know, the albino fly rapper that I am. Uh, Nip and Kendrick and Dom and, oh, my God, Scheme. Yeah. Um, you know, when Strong Arm Steady was starting and, and doing his thing, we didn't have none of these names as colleagues and peers to say, you know, and ramble off like mm-hmm. that. And, and of course, 
um, with the success of Kendrick Lamar um, and, and TDE as a whole. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man, like how can you not say that? And not just that, even at radio, if you think about what's going on at, at radio and the sounds that's happening um, with DJ Mustard and how influential his sound has been just across the board, mm-hmm. not, not just on the West Coast, you know, everywhere. I think that's a clear indication, you know, that, you know, we back. You know, you, know, you know how you know the West is back officially? Because you don't hear nobody saying when's Detox coming out no more. Everybody was right. waiting on Detox, Detox, Detox. Yeah, I, you know, I, I'm waiting on it still. So, uh, and not like that, but but I don't, I don't, you're right. I don't, I don't think that um, that's hindering the progression, you know, of the Pacific. Got you. In no way, not at all. But shout out to DRE, man. Come on with it, bro. I mean, we I think it'd be dope, too, with so many West Coast artists popping right. with the Dre right now. Yeah. I mean, as long as he could take those sounds, if he could do a record with with a mustard sound and do a record with a Kendrick, do, I mean, I think it'd sound amazing. I think it would, too, honestly. That's why I said I'm waiting on it, because I think that what's happening on the West, um, and, and you guys see it, you know, because I see I see the, the East is supporting that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and To a certain extent. As yeah. long as as long as Kendrick don't call himself the Kingdom boy, he should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, Everybody's going in on New York right now. Trinidad James went on a. What did he say? Uh, he said that. Um, I'm curious to know what Trinidad I, I James know. had to say. He about said something me. about. Um, <laughs> hold on, I'm gonna tell you that uh, we don't play any New York artists here in New York, and that Future runs New York radio. Is what okay. he said something okay. like that. That sounds pretty accurate. And what I, did Mano say back? Mano said he Mano got disrespectful. That's Mano always does. About his teeth. Yeah, Mano, Mano is definitely the the, the, the <laughs> bouncer of New York. He's the bouncer of New York. No, that's real. No, that's real. Mano, don't come look Mano, Mano me, is bro. the bouncer of New York City. <laughs> no, I had a conversation with Mano, and I think Mano's thing was, you know, when you go to anywhere and anywhere in the world, you have to see a bouncer. Like yeah. when you go through LA, you got to see certain people before you touch right. the town. Yeah. When you go to Detroit, there's certain people you got to see. When right. you go to Philly, when you go to Atlanta, right. but when you go to New York, there is no bouncer. And he was like, that bothered him because he feels like, <laughs> I'm serious, we had a real conversation. He said he feels like people are just running around doing anything. We got to get Mano right. up here tomorrow. I man. love Mano for I that, man. Shout out to Mano so, for that. So man. if anybody comes and says anything slick, Mano's the new bouncer. He's He has a black <laughs> shirt on that says security with the black. Chucks in the black khakis, and yeah. he's gonna be pounding. Wow. Like, I, 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 now, Mano said, said so it. much he had to do a twit longer. He said, You know, my word is my life, so when I say I'm gonna break you, believe it. No need to hit your line, just be ready. Yeah, that's that's Mano. Mano's back. Listen, okay, if tight. anybody deserves to be the bouncer in New York, it's Mano. Definitely. Then he, said, <laughs> then he said to you. Trinidad James, Hey, buddy, I'll be your Huckleberry. I'm gonna brush those <laughs> teeth when I see you, baby boy. You a street N word, right? LMAO. <laughs> Mano. He went Wyatt Earp on Mano. brother. Love. Text Mano right now. He went Tombstone on Mano's on his way to Houston right now. He's at the airport. Wow. It's funny because while he's writing all this, the avatar is him hugging his son. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's nothing when that's coming. Uh, November 19th, it'll okay. be digitally available. And the, the hard copies via my site, strongarmsteady.net, will be available. And um, it's everywhere in the world, man, that, that music is sold digitally. So I appreciate the support, world. That's what's up. Right. Well, we appreciate you coming. You know, anytime you're in town, come on through. Man, I love y'all, man. Strong arm, steady DJ, Envy, yeah. Angela Yee, Charlamagne the guy. We're the Breakfast Club.